Hello, this is the tabbed content template at SharePointDashboards.com. This template allows you to have a tabbed content section, which you can put onto SharePoint pages like this. So you can have different sections with images and content that changes according to clicking on tabs. This, of course, is not possible with out-of-the-box SharePoint. You'll notice at the bottom, we can have a link to another page so we can feature that link as a part of our content. So that's what this template will do for you. Now let's talk about how you can set that up. This screen is gonna show a preview. This is linked under the video, and this helps you see exactly how that layout's gonna be. The first thing you should do is check out some different theme options. You can click on the drop-down picker at the top, and you can see there's lots of ways you can adjust this to get whatever look and feel you would like. You can go for different settings on here and adjust these manually. So for example, if I wanna change the width of the content, I can just change that number and then I can do other things like adjust the background colors and do whatever I want just to get the styling exactly how I want it. You should follow the directions in the lower left-hand corner. This is gonna tell you everything that you need to know. The first thing to do is to set up your SharePoint list with the required fields. We need a multi-line plain text field called user tab, named just as in the instructions. And then we're going to create a series of fields for the rest. So beginning with the tabs, which show on the tab labels at the top, we need to have text fields named tab A, tab B, tab C, and so on in series. And then we're gonna do this same type of series with other fields as well. So for the image banner, we're going to have image A, image B, image C, etc. And then the text content showing below the image, that will be content A, content B, content C, and so on. And then the last series of fields will be for a hyperlink so that you can link to another page on the internet. And those will be called link A, link B, link C, etc. And this content will be shown conditionally depending on whether you've populated those fields. So if I come over to SharePoint, you can see I've already got my list set up and you can see some of those fields that I've put in. So here are my image fields, and then below that I've got fields for my tabs and so on. And that's how you're gonna set up your SharePoint list in order to get it ready for applying this template. Once you have that set, you can go ahead and apply your template. And I've already done this. Um, you will simply go to the uh, drop-down picker for the view and format current view, and then paste in your formatting content to get the output that we're looking for. And then once you've done that, you can apply that view to a web page in SharePoint by editing the page. And what you will want to do is add the list web part to the page. And you're going to make sure you pick that view where you've applied the formatting and then hide the command bar and see all button. We don't want to see those. We just want to see our tabbed content. Um, so that's how you can drop that tab content section into your page. And then at that point, your users can click between the tabs um, to switch um, the content. In our example, we've got five tabs of content, but as you might guess, that is up to you. You can do as few or as many tabs as you want. In fact, this will support up to 26 tabs of content, which would be a lot, uh, but you should just add fields based on the total number of tabs that you want to show. This template is linked below the video. You can find this at sharepointdashboards.com. If you have not yet used sharepointdashboards.com, you can go out to the site and sign up for free to get access to 21 free templates. And then if you want to take advantage of this template, as well of, as hundreds of other options, you can sign up for a subscription option, which gives you full access to the tools. That's all there is to it, and I hope you found that useful, and good luck.